You're listening to Movies, 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 where I give a quick rundown of the movies coming out in movie theaters. Hello, I'm going to talk about movies coming out in theaters Friday, October the 2nd. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I want to talk about. So that means they're probably not all coming out in a theater near you, but they, hey, they might. Alright, the first one called The Great American Lie. No tomato meter rating, no audience score. Filmmaker Jennifer Seibel Newsom examines the growing problems of social and economic inequality in America. It's a documentary. Uh, directed by Jennifer Seibel Newsom and produced by Amanda Mortimer and Jennifer Seibel Newsom. It's an hour and 39 minutes long. And some of the cast and crew, Brenda Robinson, the executive producer, Jennifer Seibel Newsom, producer, Amanda Mortimer, producer, Jessica Congdon as the writer, Jennifer Seibel Newsom as writer and the director. Alright, the next one. The Call, no tomato meter rating, and 23% on the audience score. Terror strikes when a recently deceased woman rises from the grave to seek revenge against a group of friends who tormented her. It's a horror, directed by Timothy Woodard Jr., produced by Randy Goodwin, Zebulon Huling, Jeffrey Reddick, Gina Rugolo, and Patrick Stibbs. The writer, Patrick Stibbs, is an hour and 35 minutes long by Appreciated Films, Single Malt P- Pictures, Bonded Media Capital, Buffalo and Productions, and Kalispell Tribal Holdings. Some of the cast and crew, Sloan Morgan Siegel as Brett, Judd Lormond as Harless, Aaron Sa- Sanders as Tanya, Chester Rushing as Chris, Tobin Bell as Edward Cranston, and Lynn Shea as Edith Cranston. The Devil to Pay. No tomato meter rating, 88% audience score. A struggling mother fights to save her son from the cold-hearted matriarch of a family. It's a mystery and thriller. Directed by Lane Sky, produced by Daniel Deadweiler, Martin L. Kelly, Allison Mayer, Gabriel Olson, and Lane Sky. Writer, Lane Sky and Rucka Sky. It's an hour and 27 minutes long by Buckhead Film Group and Screen Lloyd. Some of the cast and crew Brad Carter as Dixon Runyon, Charles Black as Grady, Adam Boyer as Bull Runyon, Jason Warner Smith as Wade Runyon, Catherine Dyer as Tommy Runyon. And Danielle Deadweiler as Lemon Cassidy. Alright, the next one. 2067. 30% on tomato meter, 69% audience score. When Earth's air becomes unbreathable, a message from the future sends a man on a dangerous mission to an unknown world to save the human race. It's a mystery and thriller, sci fi, directed by Seth Lardy, produced by Kate Crosser. Lisa Shaughnessy and Jason Taylor, written by Seth Lardy. It's an hour and 54 minutes long by Rocket Boy, Arcadia Futurism Studios, Elevate Production Finance, some of the cast and crew, Finn Little, Sandra Shake, Deborah Melman, Leanna Walsman, Ryan Quanton, and Cody Smith McPhee. And Cody plays Ethan White. Then came you. 33% on tomato meter. No audience score. A lovely widow develops an unlikely friendship with an engaged innkeeper in Scotland. It's rated PG-13 for sexual material. Some strong language. It is a romance directed by Adriana Tregandi. Produced by Kathy Lee Gifford. Adriana Tragali and Matthew T. Weiner, written by Kathy Lee Gifford. And it is an hour and 37 minutes long. 
Once upon a river. 71 for sale on tomato meter, no audience score. A girl must begin an unexpected odyssey on the state river to find her estranged mother after her father is killed in a tragic accident. It's a drama directed by Harola Rose. Producer was Jacqueline E. Ingram and Harala Rose. And it was wrote by Bonnie Joe Campbell. Production companies was 30 Tigers, Chicago Media Angels, Neon Heart Productions, and Glass Feed Films. La Belle Epoque. 91% on tomato meter, 88% on the audience score. A delusion victor finds his life turned upside down by an offer from entrepreneur Antoine. It's rated R for drug use, brief violence, language, nudity, sexual content. It's a romance. The original language was French, or from France. Directed by Nicolas Bedos. Written by Nicolas Bedos. It's an hour and 55 minutes long by Les Fils du Kiosk. Some of the cast and crew, Dennis Padelides, Fanny Ardent, Pierre Arditi, Doria Tellerier, Gualam Kennett, and Daniel Attil. The Projectionist, 100% on tomato meter, no audience score. Abel Ferreira and a theater owner discussed the edgier, sleazier era of film that existed in the 1970s. It's a documentary directed by Abel Ferreira, produced by Michael M. Belandic, Joshua Blum, Christos V. Constantinopoulos, Katie Stern, and Michael Weber. It's an hour and 21 minutes long by Valero House Productions and Washington Square Films. Alright, last one. Spontaneous. 100% on tomato meter. No audience score. When students in their high school unexpectedly start to explode, seniors Mara and Dylan struggle to survive in a world where each moment may be their last. As an unexpected romance blossoms between them, they soon discover that when tomorrow is no longer promised, they can finally start living for today. It's rated R for bloody images throughout, teen drug and alcohol use, and language. It is a horror comedy directed by Brian Duffield, produced by Nikki Cortez, Brian Duffield, Matthew Kaplan, and Jordan Levin, wrote by Brian Duffield. Is an hour and 42 minutes long by Awesomeness Films and Jurassic Party Productions. Some of the cast and crew Piper Parabu as Angela, Rob Huabel as Charlie, Haley Law as Tess, Yval Orgy as Agent Rosetta, Charlie Plummer as Dylan, and Catherine Langford as Mara. All right, well, that is it for October 2nd, 2020. Have fun watching movies. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.